Hey, what's up, addicts? My name is Marlon Lefevre. I started fishing when I was pretty young. I have some like slight memories of my dad taking me fishing at Lackamas Lake here in Clark County. And literally, I think the only reason he took me was so he could fish without a license because he never bought fishing licenses and kids didn't have to have licenses. So he literally would take me, put me in the truck and like I would sleep half the time. But those are some of my early memories of kind of being inspired fishing as catfishing at night with my dad at a really, really young age. So as I kind of graduated through species and catching bass and all that, like I actually, there was a long hiatus where I didn't fish at all. And then I got, actually got a job at 18 years old at Sportsman's Warehouse. So I caught my first steelhead when I was 18 years old. One of my buddies, Travis Bishop, took me steelhead fishing for the first time and I caught a steelhead that day. And I remember from the time I hooked that first fish, pretty much from then on out, it was like, that's all I thought about was how can I catch more of these amazing creatures. You know, so my wife kind of asked me that same thing, like why do I continue to steelhead fish every single, you know, it's like summer steelhead, spring steelhead, winter steelhead, you know, going to Alaska to chase steelhead, looking in like other countries where steelhead are at. And you know, why? Why do us as steelheaders like have this just overwhelming passion for steelhead? And for me, it, it's been this learning thing. For me, it's been this constant desire to want to learn more and learn this fish more. And every time you go out on the river and steelhead fish, you learn something new. And then every fish you're able to put your hands on is completely different. So it's like you're shaking hands and meeting someone new every single time you go out steelhead fishing. It's, it's a weird feeling. And if you haven't experienced it, you need to. So, now we talk about being like addicted to steelhead fishing and for me i literally can say that i'm like full-on addicted there was a time in my life where i was like calling in sick to work like fabricating stories on like literally like family members passing away like telling people at work that like family members passed away so i could go steelhead fishing that's how seriously messed up and addicted i was and is that healthy no but is it healthier than what I could have been doing, absolutely. You know, I I grew up in a, in a totally different scenario than most people. You know, I grew up in foster care, in and out of foster care as a baby and as a kid. And, you know, my parents struggled with addiction and heroin addiction and all these different things. And I chose a different route. I chose this chrome, bright, shiny thing with fins. And that's what I chose to be addicted to. And it's a feeling that, like I said before, you can't, describe you just have to get out there and catch one of those fish and experience it yourself when you talk about passing on steelhead fishing to a new generation and a new group of anglers i feel like that's the reason i created addicted that's the reason i create these movies was for that reason it's it's to pass this passion and this excitement and this love for not only steelhead, just fishing in general. Like I, I want someone to experience that exact same feeling I felt when I watched my bobber drain and I set the hook and the fish peeled 100 yards off the reel. Like until you experience and feel that, you'll never understand like what it means to, to hook a steelhead. And so that's, that's why I continue to pass that on to more and more anglers and why I'm gonna continue to keep doing it for the rest of my life. Nothing is gonna stop me. As far as to even my daughter, you know, now I have my daughter Haley and she expresses interest in steelhead fishing and she's been talking about my videos. And so now it's time to like get her out. She's old enough to hold a rod now. It's time to pass that excitement on to her and hopefully she'll be just as passionate about it as I am. So the whole inspiration behind the steelhead fishing in Alaska was really, we were there for salmon fishing and Jordan was already going back for steelhead, kind of talked about steelhead, and he's like, dude, we should just do the same thing, get a big group of guys together and do the steelhead thing, and we were all just super stoked about it. So I was like, let's do it, dude. Let's go on another adventure, and it's gonna be so much better because it's steelhead. So that was kind of why we all put this thing together and went to Alaska steelhead fishing. My favorite moment in Alaska was basically just being with my buddies. I felt like the first trip we went was super stressful. Like we were all super stressed out. We're like trying to make this movie and it was like, we were just stressed. And so I don't, 
I don't feel like we had as much fun. It was a blast, don't get me wrong, but like the second movie, it was almost like the second trip was, oh, we could like breathe a little bit. We were still filming a movie, but we learned a ton on the first one. It was so much less stressful and we got to really just have a ton of fun fishing in Alaska. So one thing I learned about steelhead when we were in Alaska is you can't just throw one thing at a steelhead and expect him to bite. You know, there was multiple times where we would, you would literally see 30, 40, 50 fish in a hole and the first bait that goes through, they're all jumping on it, right? But then the second you hook one, they all kind of went blank and it was like, okay, now switch worm colors, boom, you'd hook one. Now put a different jig through there, boom, you'd hook one. Now put a plug through there, boom, you'd hook one. So just constantly changing your presentation and that not, might not be something that I learned. I kind of already knew that, but it made me really realize like, holy crap, I need to do that a lot more at home and I bet you'll be catching a lot more steelhead. So I've been asked this question a lot about the passion and the drive behind creating these fishing movies and Addicted Alaska in general. And you know, like I said, coming from where I came from in the past where like you you literally grow up and you don't even know what fishing is. You don't even, you're not exposed to it. You're in the city or you're in, think about all the kids that live in downtown New York. Think about all the people across the world that they have zero access to these things. That was me. I was that kid growing up, living in foster care, like loving fishing and wanting to go so freaking bad every single day but not having an outlet to get out there and do it. You know, you're a 12, you're a 10, you're a, who knows what scenario you're in and you can't get out there and do it. And so my passion behind creating these fishing movies is to show these kids and these youth and these kind of upcoming generation that you can do this. You can come out and you can go fishing and fishing's freaking cool and it's a healthy, badass sport. And I hope that as we continue to keep making these movies, more and more kids will be inspired by them and excited to get out on the water and chase steelhead and salmon and bass and pretty much anything that swims. Man, one thing I want to tell Jerry, Jerry, if you're watching this dude, I freaking miss you more than life can even describe, buddy. Literally, there's days that I wake up and almost freaking cry, dude. So I hope you're watching this and you see this and you know that I freaking, I don't know what's going on in your life and I don't know why you're not around us anymore, bud, but we miss you and we'll take you back anytime you wanna come be buddies or just go fishing or whatever. And I hope you love Addicted Alaska and it would not be the same. These movies would not be the same without your face in them. So thanks so much for being my friend and let's go fishing, dude. Why should you go see Addicted Alaska? Because this, I truly believe, is some of the most amazing steelhead footage that's ever captured on video paired with amazing scenery. And on top of that, you get to see like what it's like to be a steelhead or what it means to be addicted to steelhead fishing, what it means to wake up every single day of your life and check water levels and look and see what the fish are doing, see if it's raining, see if it's sunny. I mean, your whole life is consumed by steelhead fishing. So if you're a steelhead angler out there, that that's what you, if, if you're a steelhead angler out there and that's exactly how you live your life, you need to come see this movie, May, 2019. My name is Marlon Lefevre, and I'm addicted to steelhead fishing.